I'm Tatiana Myron. I am the principal and founder, co-founder with my business partner, Alexander Pappas of Pappas Myron Design. We're in my apartment in downtown Manhattan, where I live with my husband and my three children. We've lived here for 13 years, and you're seeing it in all its glory. A lot of people wonder about my aesthetic. It doesn't fall into any certain category. I use a lot of things from various time periods, different artists. I really just put into my homes things that I love. I look at houses in Europe and they've you know, been passed down from generation to generation through the different time periods where the people, you know, have added to the collection. And I've always been kind of enthralled with that way of living where you can't really tell how old the person is that lives there or where kind of everything has come from. I just, it has a, like a hominess that you can't place a time stamp on. They're not trendy. I don't care about provenance. I, a lot of times, don't care about condition. I am thrilled when I get a bargain because something is a little bit broken or chipped because inevitably it will become broken or chipped anyway. So, you know, I'm just happy to have it. A, a casual elegance. I think that that is something that a lot of people attribute to my styles. I think the key to making your home feel warm and welcoming and lived in is lighting. A lot of spaces, a lot of potential clients, we go and we look at their space and they're, you know, they're not comfortable there, they're looking for a designer to help them. And one of the first things I'd say is, you have no lamps, you don't have one lamp in this whole apartment. Um, and so varied lighting at physically lower and higher levels and incandescent bulbs, it really changes things. In many of our rooms, we'll have up to six, eight, ten lights. I, I can't count how many are in here, but it's really important because you've got the object that can provide small amounts of color and texture and the shade material, which adds kind of a glow and a warmth to the room that just you don't get from hi-hats and track lighting and all of that. It's just not the same. I love parties. I sit down and I look at a calendar and I'm like, we have not had a party for too long. When is the next party? When we are entertaining, I really love to go all out. 
I'm worried about what people are gonna eat. I'm worried about what people are gonna eat in phases that at the end of the night, there needs to be a whole other meal that comes out. I am worried about the flowers. I'm worried about enough alcohol. I don't allow plastic, so I have to have enough glasses. I have to have enough help that glasses are getting washed. So if I'm gonna do it, I am gonna do it right. I'm gonna make a Negroni. It's my favorite drink. Um, my friend Ryan Lawson made a Negroni for me and my parents for the first time when we were in uh, his house in New Canaan and he didn't know my mother and she ended up sleeping on his sofa through the dinner. So ever since then, I've known it's really, you know, gonna be our house cocktail. Always gets the party started. Sophisticated, pretty color, looks great in your hand. into the perfect glass. Cocktail time. I hope that people, friends, and new acquaintances feel from me, from my family, from my home, a sense of um, warmth and inclusion and kind of maybe generosity and, and fun. I, everybody, we had house guests um, for the weekend upstate and I got such a nice note. She said, you know, Tatiana, you really know how to live it up. You really know how to just do it and have fun. So it's just a way of being, of wanting everybody else to have fun with you and, um, and just kind of keeping your spirits up, you know, and, and seeing life and making the most of it. So I feel like that's what they feel here, is kind of a joy.